right, welcome back. Uh, this is Catherine, and we've got Mo with us as well. Mo is full of energy, and Catherine, so are you, all right? Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. you got to match their energy exactly. level. Exactly. Right, so here we are. <laughs> He's enjoying some peanut butter, hopefully broad enough to share. What's good? What can you tell us about Mo? Oh, Mo is a sweet, sweet boy. He came in on the transport. Um, I don't know if you remember earlier in the year, we had like 60-something dogs at the shelter, yeah, sure. and it was because of a huge transport. He came in then, so it's been a couple of months, and we're honestly surprised that he is still with us. He is about four years old and he's just a good dog. He's just a hundred percent good boy. Um, he does have a lot of puppy energy as sure. you were saying. Yep. Yeah. And he <laughs> doesn't really have um, leash manners. He, uh, We are working with him for sit and stay, but it's going to take time and consistency. And honestly, when you have a dog that's in a kennel, you know, 18 yeah. hours a day, maybe be longer yep. it's it's harder to hit those training benchmarks because they just have so much energy to spend sure so yeah. what should people know when thinking of, like taking on a dog like this you've got to want to you know help him run some of that energy off exactly yeah and so probably some training classes are going to be good um, he's truly he um, is good with other dogs okay. we do know that he's good with other dogs uh, if you have a dog savvy cat I wouldn't be surprised if he's going to chase a little bit okay. um, so just just uh, watch out for that. And with kids, I think he's going to do great with kids. He just doesn't know his own size. Yep. So he's going to need to be um, monitored closely to make sure that he's not bowling anyone over during play. But as you can see, he's been here for a couple of minutes. He's starting to calm down a little bit. Sure. Yeah. And he's very responsive to treats. So that, that's all. helpful too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, he's, he's ready to go. I mean, he's had his surgery. He's all up to date on shots. If you've got other dogs in the home, please bring them to meet with Mo. We always require that. Um, but he is just looking for for the right family, for the right fit. What else yeah. is going on over at the uh, Humane Society? Gosh, we are just gearing up. I know it's a little early, but we're gearing up for Paws on Parade. We're about to roll out some contests to have people build up their teams and start doing some fundraising. It's never too early to start helping animals, even though maybe it's a little too early to think about what you're doing in September. But and One thing we always want to uh, point out is if you are thinking about whether Mo might be the right fit for you or uh, another pet, it's best to have a relationship with you guys already, right? You know, just to sort of have your information and then maybe when the right pet comes along, you've already kind of gotten that. Exactly, out of the exactly. Filling out that adoption application, it doesn't put you in line. It doesn't mean that we can call you. Unfortunately, we don't have the capacity for that. But it does mean that we know what you're looking for and what's going to be the right fit for you. So yes, absolutely. The earlier you can get that part of the process out of the way, the better off for everyone. Everyone. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. so much. Thank Whoa, you. Look at you. So strong. He yeah. is, but he's doing so good. He is doing so good. I was actually saying you. I was so strong. Oh. oh look at you. <laughs> Both of you. Uh. There you go. Look at that. Strong to the finish because I eat my spinach. All right. Uh, Kurt's got your uh, first alert forecast right after the break. Uh, Mo won't be around very long, so uh, get in touch with Catherine, and he could be yours. All right. Exactly. Back with Mo right after this.